Eh, laid on heavy. Use guilt. Guilt her. Okay, let's say you enforce the law and drag Danielle back home. You know well that what happens next. They ship her off to a facility to be reprogrammed back into being a good little kiss. Sis. Sis it? Sis it? Like sis. Sis it citizen. They take away herself. And that's what you want, is it? To be part of the system of persecution that keeps us from being our true selves? How are forking noble of you, hero? Okay, okay, you made your point. You don't have to be so nasty about it. That's what this playthrough is about. Nastiness. Obviously, I'm trying to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. I'm trying. So if this is the only way to get her out of there cleanly and quietly, if you can, can provide her the life she deserves, fine, I guess I'm in. No other way. But let's be clear about one thing, you and me, because we know a secret that Farsight does not, and I won't be telling her. I already robbed the bank. She's helping me get away with bank robbery, too. And that's very manipulative of me. A lie of a mission. I really don't care. <laughs> the evil player in me does not care. We should feel guilty about that. Nope, not in the slightest. But Danielle's rights comes first. I can swallow the guilt on that one gladly. It's really, really hard to play an evil playthrough. I'm beginning to realize that the way that the game is... I mean, it's, it's the way... Th the fact that we're not controlling Penny directly, she does have her mind of her own, makes it very hard to do anything really, really evil and underhanded, which I know is is not the point of this game. But I, I clearly feel feel like we don't have as much freedom uh, to do really, really devious things. So, um, what's the plan? Like, the actual plan? Do you two just start fighting while I run for it? Problem is, they know the robber is wearing a jumpsuit and a paper bag. We have to maintain that illusion. And a radio crackles to life. In surprise, Farside pulls it from one of her many pockets, almost fumbling the device. The device. Uh, um, this is Farsight. I read you. Over. What's the situation? Have you confronted the villain? Is the hostage secure? Should we breach and assist you? And I seize the radio from her hands with confidence. Hey! Oh ho ho ho! Foolish, foolish policeman with your impotent guns and your so-called law and order. Who is this? You're on a secured frequency. And I am the new master of your airwaves. I hold your fate in the palm of my hand. You may call me. Uh, dang it, I need to be a whole new character on the fly here. Who should I be? Dr. X-Ray, solid state. Dr. X-Ray? I'm gonna say solid state. Uh, as a, a software engineer, I have to. Solid state. I am solid state. And if you dare approach this bank, I will convert all convert you all into non-Newtonian fluid. A what? You know, like Ublek? Ublek? What's Ublek? Okay, so like you know how if you mix corn flour and water, you get this goop that's a fluid until you apply pressure and and I'm the only person who's ever watched PBS? And am I the only person who's ever watched PBS? Like, I never went to high school, buddy, even I know about this stuff. Look, just, just back the fork off or I'll disassemble your molecules. I'm sending your precious hostages out soon to clear the field for my epic battle with Farsight. If you interfere, it'll be your end. Understood? Fall back! Fall back! Do not breach! Hostage en route. Let the hero handle this. Ooh, I get it. We get Danielle clear, then put on a show! But they're expecting the hostage to look like Penny. Yep, so we're gonna switch costumes. What? Danielle and I are about the same build, and from the little bit I see up your sleeve, basically the same skin tone. The only person who really got a good look at me was one of the bankers, but I think she'd be sympathetic to the situation. And the security cameras are all black and white. If anyone bothers to check the footage, it won't be obvious. I can keep my head down as I run outside, too. I saw the cameras on the way in. I remember where they are. Heck yeah, we'll make a mess of you yet. Ahem. I mean, uh, no more crime after this. Be good, right? Once you're clear, Danielle, get to the Sandy Shores Motel on Route 4, Room 23. My friend Gibson's there. I'll tell him I sent you. After I'm clear, I'll join up with you and we head north together. Got it? I like this plan. I don't hate this plan. Yes, that's better. Okay, everybody to your own corner of the room for privacy purposes. Danielle and I need to get undressed and switch outfits. And I need to place... I need to place a quick call, whispering into my comms. I get to work undressing, while tapping my comms to quietly connect with the boss. Miss Larceny, how fares your adventure? Someone tried to rob the bank while I was here, but fumbled it. We're gonna help her escape. 
excuse me, Miss Larceny, I sent you there to perform a simple task. You do not have time for someone else's foolish failures. I will. Trans kid trying to escape an abusive home. Will absolutely lend a hand. I'll get your airfare for two and use my contacts to acquire safe haven and gender affirming care. I trust you can smuggle her out of there. You have a plan for getting her past the petty small town sheriffs? Oh, I've got a heck of a plan. But speaking of, just to make this clear, she's absolutely not a new recruit for your cult, agreed? I wouldn't wish this call her my worst enemy. You have my word, she'll gain newfound freedom. Now go forth and enact your overmistress's will. I may serve a new human monster, but trans rights are human rights. You get all that fancy feast? Got it. I'll be monitoring the situation live and ready for waiting and waiting for both of you to get here. You're the best, buddy. This is not the bank robbery I was hoping for. I wanted a classic robbery. I wanted a classic robbery. Some really clever bit of grift. Something that would make my mother proud. Carry on the family tradition. But even if some small part of me is disappointed, the rest of me is ready to set, step up and be the ally Danielle needs. Growing my reputation as a mess doesn't matter at all compared to that. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Behold, the fearsome solid state with our hostage, Amanda Hug and Kiss. <laughs> this is so great. Oh, I am a hostage. I am so scared. <laughs> uh, I hope your acting skills are up to this. Believe me, I'm lucky my underwear is dry right now. I am genuinely freaking out inside. At least she looks a lot like you, except for like her hair and facial features. Relax, we got this. Head out there and once we start our battle, give them the slip. Here's a spare comms earpiece. My talking cat will guide you the rest of the way. That does not help me feel less worried. Are you sure you can really do this? Hands up, who here has professionally robbed banks and gotten away with it? I raise my hand, the girls do not. Okay, okay, good luck, both of you. And thank you for believing in me, for believing in who I am. She offers both of us a brief hug, ah, before departing. Give her a minute to get clear, and then we start. How do you want to handle this fight? I can predict the future so I can punch and kick exactly where you aren't going to be. Works for me, I'll just like duck and weave and pretend to shoot my fearsome science gun. Okay, okay, let's get the show on the road. Laura Larceny's Guide to Bank Robbery, item, uh... Penny Larceny's Guide to Bank Robbery, item one. Be really loud and annoying and obvious and fight a hero, apparently. First step, Danielle runs for her life. Don't shoot, don't shoot, I'm the hostage. Help, help, oh no, look out, the villain is attacking. Not bad, not bad, it'll play. Now my turn. The bank's been evacuated. I can see red and blue lights spinning outside as cops, bystanders, and news media look on, but the lobby's empty. So once Danielle clears the doors and joins the crowd, we make our big entrance, hamming it up to distract them for, from her sneaking off. And so it has come to this, far sight against the dreaded solid state. At the end of this day, one shall stand, one shall fall. You still fight for the weak. This is why you lose. A nice floor to ceiling wind the nice floor to ceiling windows and far sights radio make our fight the star of the show. I start waving my science gun around, mimicking my attacks. Even when you think a gun isn't loaded, don't actually pull the trigger. Basic firearm safety. There is just like PSAs all over this, Stefan. All over this. Oh my, this is this whole thing is a PBS special. Zap. 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 Farsight far ducks and weaves, making sure she's just out of the line of, the, of fire each time. Her superpower letting her predict the moves. Curses! If only my ray gun worked on non-humans. I could be causing so much destruction right now, but unfortunately it does nothing. Yes, it's very fortunate that it only seems to be useless when it is in fact very dangerous, but I am too quick. Curse you, Farsight. I see we must settle this with our hands and fists. Have at you. Okay, let's be clear. I can actually fight if I have to. I don't like to. I'd like you to. And I'd lose a straight up boxing match, but I have the moves. Which are nicely countered by her twisting in and out of my attack range, making a big show of how she's just barely avoiding my attacks. You have skill, but my power level is greater than yours because justice will always prevail over evil. Although this little show is starting to get repetitive. Hmm, how can I spice up the fight? Smashing Haymaker right upside her head. Rising uppercut to the jaw. 
Sweep the leg. Rising uppercut to the jaw. Shoryuken! I duck down low, making a fist and bring it straight up, un up under her chin. Which connects, leaving her briefly reeling. Yes! Finally! Violence! Finally! Violence! Ow! Penny, what the heck? Oops, sorry, sorry. I'm not sorry. Punch her again! <laughs> huh, I guess you decide my moves for me. I guess when you decide my moves for me, she can't read them. Is this some weird time-space superpower thing? Cool. Cool. Haymaker! Haymaker to the face! But before I can ponder that further, a security guard emerges from a hiding place behind a desk, gun drawn. I got your back, Farsight. Drop the fancy pants gun and put your hands up, you gosh darn freak. Oh, good. It's this guy again. What the? You were supposed to evacuate with the others. Why are you still here? I am not gonna let my bank get robbed on my watch. No freak's gonna violate Kyle Gunner's constitutional rights. Uh, what rights exactly? The right to bear arms. I'm standing my ground. Justifiable self-defense. I feel threatened. This zealous wannabe vigilante couldn't end up shooting both of us, the way his veins are sticking out and his face turning red with rage. We gotta de-escalate this without actually de-escalating the super crime antics. You're a villain. Threaten him with super-powered super-villain shirt. Make a personal threat. You already know about Kyle. Leverage your prep work. Farsight's the hero. It's on her to do the crowd control. Smoke bomb. Toss at him in his attraction. Get the heck out of it. Make a personal threat. You already know about Kyle. Leverage your prep work. Okay, so the obvious play here is to threaten his mom, but like, ick. And obnoxious as this guy is, it feels kind of gross doing that. I don't think it's gross. But Penny's got her mind of her own. Darn it. Let's spin this into something else he values instead. Why can't we do... Why can't we do the the Dark Urge? I want to do Penny Larceny Dark Urge run. Let's spin this into something else he values instead. My nemesis, Kyle Gunner. So we meet face to face. Wait, you know me? I hold great power over the dreaded homeowners association of your condo. And if you think smoking fi fines are dreadful, well, wait until you see what other vast and terrible powers I hold. I can and will reassign your parking space. Hey, it's not my fault my truck is too manly and huge for your tiny spaces. That is but a fraction of my power. Now get out before I leverage the fully armed and operational board of directors. Be advised, I am withdrawing to the perimeter. I am not running away. It's a very brilliant tactical retreat. And he beats it the heck out of there. That was close. I think we need to wrap this up before anyone else gets involved. Let's take it outside. Find a way to get out of sight so we can get our score separate ways. We exchange a few more mock attacks before spilling our fight out into the street. Barricades have been erected outside the bank, holding the crowd back, and of course there's a crowd. Fortunately, this gives us a nice open space in the immediate area to move, without more Kyles or Kyle-esques to mix in the mix. We end this now, villain. Your evil will not last in the face of goodness. Evil, crackle, and cruel declarative statement. Declarative statement. Uh, look, I only have so much of this crud in me. I don't normally rant. Boo! Boo! Anyway, I'll stop you. I welcome you to try. More punches, more kicks. Honestly, I'm just sort of wobbling around at this point while she does all the work. Give him hell, Farsight! Solid state is going down! Farsight! 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 I think Farsight's gonna come out of this bigger cape, bigger cape than ever. Even if technically this is a fraud and I may completely torpedo her heroic career if anyone finds out. Eh, I don't care. But Danielle has to come first. Um, and fortunately, out of the corner of my eye, I see Danielle edging back towards the crowd until she slips free and walks away. Good! Walk at a normal pace. Don't run. Don't draw attention. Kids got good instincts. You're a slippery one, but you can't keep this up forever, solid state. The burning in my muscles and heaving of my lungs agree wholeheartedly with that statement. I'm very good at short bursts of really intense physical activity, but it's pretty clear Farsight spends more time in the gym than I do. We need to move this somewhere else, away from the prying eyes of the public, so I can sneak away. From Gibson's research, the block is just crawling with fire escapes and rooftop hiding spots. Head down an alley between two buildings, it's dark and secluded. Start moving the fight down the street until you see a solid candidate for an exit. From Gibson's research, the block is just crawling with fire escapes and rooftop hiding spots. Aha! Right, right, there's a fork ton of escape routes if we think vertically. 
And hey, more exposure therapy for my acrophobia. I can face this for Danielle's sake and my own. For Danielle's sake. Aha, you have a skill, but I have the greatest superpower of all. Expensive toys and lots of prep time. I whip out my mother's heirloom, a top grade grappling gun, and fire off the hook towards the nearest rooftop. And the tiny but surprisingly powerful motor sends me whizzing through the air, landing perfectly in a three point stance high above. Ha! Huh, you may have won this battle, Farsight, but I have the high ground and shall make my escape. And from below, Farsight pulls out her own grapple gadget and fires it off. The fork? You have a grapple gun too? You may have unfa unfathomable evil, but I have pockets. We very briefly resume our fight until we're hidden under an alcove on the city rooftop. Out of sight, out of earshot. Safe. Okay, mercy, mercy, I'm pooped. But I gotta admit, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a blast. It was great defrauding the public and living a lie. Just great. Ah, uh, right, yeah, about that. My bad, if I had time to come up with something better. It's worth it for Danielle. I have a duty to those in need of a hero. Like, if, if there, you could do a drinking game for how much, you know, pro Danielle there is, like mention is in this in this uh, particular scenario. She managed to escape, right? And my comms crackle. You clear? The boss authorized a little extra, so I hired a getaway rideshare to pick up Danielle. She's on her way to the motel. Thanks, Fancy Feast. Yep, according to my partner, she's headed to safety now. Okay, okay, that's what matters the most, above above anything else. Although, we still need to figure out a grand finale for this fight. One that frees you up to go help Danielle. The nefarious solid state gets away clean, perhaps? I think good should triumph over evil. It helps show people that there is hope against the darkness. So if you can't physically haul me off to jail, what you need is proof that you beat the villain. Give her the gun. She can show it off as a trophy from the battle. Give her the gun and your mask. Proof she triumphed over you in the end. Give her the gun, your mask, and your costume. That's absolute proof that she won. How about I just give her my costume? I don't want to give her my gun. Uh, uh, give her the gun. She can show it off as a trophy from the battle. I hold up the gun and for her to take. Careful not to point it at right. Careful not to point it right at her. Again, gun safety. So many PSAs. Here you go. Solid State's fearsome science gun. It's just an ordinary shotgun. This isn't going to convince anyone. Sorry, tits. Don't care. Tell me that. Tell me. Tell them that you took the sciency bits off. Uh, off to disarm it first. I guess that might work. It's worth a try anyway. The rest is up to my talents as a storyteller. I'd better get back down there. Are you good for escaping? I'm all set. I ditched the bag somewhere and I'm an ordinary civvy again. Okay, and please, I know you probably won't give up a life of crime, but stay out of serious trouble, okay? Not if I can help it. If the world has to have masks, I wish more of them were like you. Eh, eh. She's soft. My penny is soft. Ah, the end of a successful caper. It was inevitable, wasn't it? Even for improvising everything on the fly, I found a path through the chaos. I robbed the safe deposit box and dropped the envelope into my purse before giving it to Danielle. As long as she escaped, I still won. There's another one. Now the two of us can enjoy a leisurely flight back home. Me to resume my criminal career. Her to find a better tomorrow. She's wearing my spare clothes, giving us a bit of twinsies effect. Not great for avoiding attention, but whatever. Won't break this good mood. It's really happening, isn't it? I'm starting my life over. I'd always dreamed of this. It won't be easy, not going to lie. You'll have to live like a mask until you turn 18, staying low profile. But yeah, you're on your way. Is, is it weird I feel bad for my parents? I'm going to simply vanish overnight. They're going to worry. I know they were terrible to me. I know I couldn't live my best life with them, but part of me feels guilty anyway. I get it, family is complicated. I was hoping to make my family proud with a really classic bank robbery, but I had to let them down today. It's impossible to live life without regrets. I really abused the trust Farsight put in me to make this happen. A criminal is supposed to be a liar, and a cheat, yeah, but... You like her, don't you? You two seem to get along great. I mean, beyond the unlikely team-up. Maybe that's why I feel bad, because I care about her. It's not our first encounter. Will we have another? Are we fated in some way? It's okay if you care for her, it's okay to have feelings. If you love her, you love her. Good to know she's a cape who can bend the rules. Maybe useful later. I'd like to avoid using and abusing that trust, but you're not wrong. I would prefer that we do. I like her. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, she is. 
For what it's worth, I think she understands that, and she's willing to help you all the same. She doesn't know I actually robbed the bank. Yes, she does. Huh? You didn't notice? I noticed. It was subtle, but her eyes went to, op to the open drawer in the vault, the one you cracked. She knows you did a crime, and she helped you anyway. That tells me she cares about cares about more. That tells me she cares about that means she that tells me she cares about more than the law. Maybe she cares about you. Huh, nice work. You've got a good observational talents. You'd make a heck of a mask for what it's worth. Thanks, but you know what? I'd rather be a cape. As soon as I'm in the clear, I'm going to start advocating for trans rights and social justice. I'll become the hero I needed. I approve. I support that. Heh, speaking as a villain, that's heroism I'd welcome. Nice. One plane ride later. Such an adventure. Breaking a vault, making off with the loot, and rescuing a damsel in distress. A classic repertoire. Your antics have pleased your overmistress on this day, Miss Larceny. I am doubly pleased, triply pleased, especially because this is our third primer with you. I'm not really sure where the other two stars went, but eh. How about tonight we make that quadruply, quadruply pleased? I expect no less than five or sixfold from you. How's Danielle settling in? How's Danielle settling in at her new apartment? Quite well. It's a small town, cozy and quiet. Not particularly exciting, but I think she's had enough excitement. I traded a few lesser favors to ensure her privacy and security as she adapts to this new life. And as for the envelope? At long last, I hand over the goods. Yeah, this is what I really wanted, was curious about. The sealed document from her mentor's safe deposit box. Kiara breaks the seal and examines it. Curious, I see no immediate value to this. It's a genealogy of the overs that came before me. Overmistresses, overmasters, and overlords. Births, death, circumstances. But this is all a matter of known record within the cult. Why would this copy be kept secret? Maybe it disagrees with the official books on the specifics? Could be worth comparing them. Indeed. It will take extensive research, which I may not immediately have time for, but I should look into it. Maybe that's what Act 4 is about. For now, simply know that I am pleased, and we will follow up at a later date. Yeah. I believe that Mark's three crime a cape is complete for us, yes? I'm wondering what would have happened if this was if this heist was not one of the heists that you did with, with, um, with, uh, Overmistress, how would things play out differently? Yeah, and my free account just expired, so I can either eat food or pay for premium access. I guess that's the end. Meaning you're a free agent. Very well. And the Overmistress unsheaths a sword, conveniently located on a nearby bookshelf is what I'd assume was a display piece. Kneel before your overmistress, Penny Larceny. Uh, is this a first she mates, then she kills kind of situation? I mean, I kneel down anyway. She wouldn't actually kill her favorite minion, right? Instead of lopping off my noggin, she taps the sword once on my right shoulder, then on my left. Arise, Prince La Penny Larceny. Right hand of the overmistress, keeper of the lady's secret, binder of her divine will. May this universe weep in tears, a hand reaches from the shadows to take from them what rightfully belongs to your overmistress. Arise and face your destiny, as well as gainful employment, I suppose. Oh, Fork, yeah, I'm part of the evil doom cult. That sense of doesn't alarm me as much as it probably should. You and I have forged a strong bond in such a short time, but passion is like that, burning bright, burning fierce. As my right hand, we merely formalize what we've already found. Wait, does this mean I owe you my immortal soul, or worse, my hand in marriage? Not unless you wish to surrender such things to your open mistress. But it's a bit early to consider that, even for us. Two of a kind against them all, living a, living a life of pleasure and freedom in whatever manner we choose. No one could stop us. For freedom and pleasure. Speaking of which... And the overmistress smiles lewdly at me, one of those cute little curly smiles that you know is up to no good whatsoever. Now then, it's time to serve your overmistress. Are you truly prepared? It may require vigor on your behalf. You haven't even begun to see the depths of my vigor. Vigor means doing it, right? Close enough. Close enough? Whoa. Right hand of the overmistress. I mean, I'm still a cat burglar, still a mask. This doesn't really change my modus operandi. But it means I've got a new partner, a new friend, a new love, and a bright future ahead of me. Yay. All right. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do. Only three out of five. It's good. It's fine. It's good. Sure. Why not? With my Crimer job expiring, with my Crimer job access expiring, so ends the era of Penny Larceny gig economy supervillain, and begins the rise of Penny Larceny, right hand of the Overmistress. I never pictured myself as a royal consort or any sort of sincere romance, but can't say I have any complaints. And judging from the way I make my Overmistress declare yes, yes, yes in private, I can't say she's got any complaints either. It helps that we're both on the grift. We're going to use this cult to live the lives we deserve. Now to sit back and wait for my overmistress to call on me. Penny Larceny is ready for action. Any minute now. Okay, what the heck? She's not responding to texts or anything. I thought the right hand would, you know, be grabbing stuff all over the place. Why even have a right hand if you aren't grabbing stuff? I think because we did quite a bit of grabbing that night before. I haven't seen my overmistress in forever. Penny, it's been one day! Exactly. I know, like forever. Ooh, a text. Never mind. Complaint retracted. The overmistress requires a right hand immediately. Please come to Destructo's and be prepared for various shenanigans. Heck yeah, shenanigans. Wait, she wants you to go to Destructo's? Why? She wants to go out on a date, obviously. It's not just a watering hole for criminal scum. It's also a super hot date spot. And this date involves shenanigans, apparently? It does when you're dating me. Okay, have fun. I'll be busy raiding tonight with my guild. Nice. Not as nice as Overmistress's mansion, though. As I ascend the elevator to Destructo's, I recheck my gear. Grapple gun, smoke bombs, flashbangs, magnesium flares, lockpicks in my hair, up my sleeves, in places that are none of your business. Some quick disguise items like wigs and fake noses and glasses, handcuffs and rope for disabling guards. Don't you think you're overdoing it a little? It's a date, not cracking into Fort Knox. Don't you think you're underdoing it a little? What about your caltrops and glue bombs? Don't you think you just go for out for tacos instead? We do like our Taco Tuesdays. Um... Don't you think you're under underdoing it a little? What about your caltrops and glue bombs? Eh, caltrops are difficult to wrangle without poking yourself. And as for the glue bomb, uh, I don't really want to re repeat of this sticky incident. Do you? Do we? I don't know. I feel like you had a sticky incident with the overmistress, maybe, the other night. Just saying. Alright, I'm gonna- that's the last one for now. For now, that's the last one. I think I've got more than enough to handle whatever the night throws at me. It's honestly a lot more gear than I usually carry. I prefer to pack light and move fast. This this much stuff weighs me down. But only the best for my overmistress. This way, we can do any fun crime we want, and I can leave the extra bits with Destructo for safekeeping. Hey, hey, I'm here to save the day, my overmistress. Please, just call me Kiara tonight. No titles or formalities. I've had more than enough formality for one evening, or one week, or possibly a lifetime. Preparing for this exhausting gala has positively tapped my ability to adhere to social niceties. Curious, I glanced around Destructo's, which is definitely swankier than usual. Old man Destructo tidied up, straightened all the furniture, polished every surface. And all around, there are, we are, all around me are men in black ties and women in formal dresses, each wearing masks, but otherwise feeling like the cream of the crop. Oh, uh, shirt. I didn't realize you were throwing a serious social shindig. Indeed, a most serious soiree. The elite have gathered at the behest of the cult of the many-faceted one to revel in our power. Politicians, heads of state, corporate tycoons, celebrities, and influencers beyond compare, all are present. A veritable who's who of absolute elite. And here I am, geared up like I'm gonna steal the Mo- And here I am, geared up like I'm gonna steal the Mona Lisa. Do you want me to head down and switch to my formal wear? Absolutely not! You are properly prepared for your side task for this evening. What? Party's over. Mission briefing. Oh. I require you to ruin my party. What? I have spent a positively exhausting effort providing fine entertainment for these greedy, vain, power-hungry monsters. They're, 
let's say, cult adjacent players, relying on my talents to organize events which further, de which further their own goals. And do they show gratitude? Oh, they bow and scrape and soak me in honeyed words. But in their hearts, they are dis they're disguised by me.